What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media, bringing you Ravens content every single day. If you want to stay at Daily Ravens content, make sure to subscribe button down below and turn the notification bell on if you want to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Now, before I get into this video, I want to say a couple of things. First thing is that we will be streaming before and after the Ravens versus Panthers preseason game on Saturday. We're going to start streaming one hour before, go up until the game starts just like last week, and then right after the game ends, within within uh, five or ten minutes, we'll try and get it set up. Uh, last time my computer kind of malfunctioned, it took us a little bit longer to get set up, but we'll then be streaming after. Last time we went for nearly three hours. We'll see how long people want to go, but we answer any questions you guys have. We just really just have a lot of fun, have a good time. And so I highly encourage that you guys show up to that. It's just a ton of fun, um, you know, talking not just with us, but there's a lot of people talking with just other Ravens fans in the chat and things like that. So, you know, overall, make sure to come to that. The other uh, kind of point of announcement that I want to bring up is that today I've set up the TikTok and I've set up the Instagram um, for our account. I'll put the links in the description below um, and I'll also tweet them out and I'll make a post on the YouTube channel that'll show those. So if you want to see, you know, play analysis, so I'll have, you know, I'll show the play and I'll basically bring up talking points about that play and things like that. So then you're able to see exactly what we're talking about. And then I'll also be uploading like clips from uh, our shows and live streams and things like that. So if you're ever missing out and you want to see some like funny parts or you know interesting analysis and things like that you can check it out there but that's it for the intro let's get into today's video and if you did not know the ravens did their first of two joint practices with the carolina panthers today and i don't know whether or not i should be doing this let me know in the comments if i shouldn't be doing this um because i'm actually wearing a panther shirt um if you guys think i shouldn't and i should not do that ever again but i was like you know what it's the first day I'm like, it's a, it's a Christian McCaffrey shirt. I love Christian McCaffrey, but you know, if you guys don't want me to do that, I, I won't, I won't do it in other videos. Um, <laughs> but I was like, you know, it's preseason, preseason wins and losses don't matter. I wouldn't do it in the regular season or anything like that, but let me know if you don't want me to do it. Uh, let me know if you think it's um, okay. I don't know. It's probably, you guys are probably going to get mad, but whatever. I like Christian McCaffrey. Obviously I'm a Ravens fan though, but um so they started up joint practices, and by the title, uh, there there was a fight at the the joint practice. I'll talk about that, but I just kind of want to go over, you know, what kind of happened at today's joint practice, as well as just the overall concept of joint practices. I'll get into that at the very end. But overall, today, first off, I'll talk about the fight. Benjamin Victor was kind of upended uh, by a Panthers cornerback, and he he was mad, so he he kind of got into a little skirmish, and guys rushed over, uh, including like Alejandro Villanueva. And Alejandro Villanueva is the the main one that I like to look at because it just shows. Remember when Joe Flacco was taken out by Kiko Alonso, and we actually had Ryan Jensen back then, and he came out and he leveled Kiko Alonso like he was not having that. Like you know, he had his teams back. I I love to see an offensive lineman that is willing to go out there if one of the players on the team gets you know unfairly hit or something like that i'm i'm actually okay with that even if it results in a penalty i'm okay with it just because it shows you know the commitment to the team and things like that so i did like that alejandro villanueva did get involved in the skirmish it wasn't anything serious nobody got hurt um or anything like that but you know marcus peters i believe ran over from another field um up until like it was canceled like it was you know relatively big there was only one kind of fight that broke out it was that one but you know, overall, I did like I do like to see when the teammates have their back. I, I don't like it when when a guy gets you know leveled out of bounds, and then all of a sudden you just kind of see people walking away, and they're like, I don't want to get involved or anything like that. No, get involved. Uh, make sure that it doesn't happen again because if they think that your team is soft, they think that you're not you know bonded, they're going to keep doing it. So make sure that they understand that they can't do that type of stuff. Um, and obviously, it didn't happen again for the rest of practice. So um, good job, uh, not just to the Rams, but good job for the Panthers for not you know trying to instigate a lot of fights because fights do break out pretty much every time you have joint practices. It's just competing against like basically the enemy is, you know, very difficult. So um, overall that's it for that fight. In terms of other news, guys returned to practice today. Guys like Ben Cleveland and Sammy Watkins and Brandon Stevens, which is great news. Ben's Ben Cleveland, I think, is the, the biggest thing. He had a concussion, if you didn't know. They didn't announce it before the, the preseason game against the Saints. It was just an undisclosed injury. Came out, he had a concussion. He's back in practice, so I really hope we're going to be able to see him 
you know, in this first preseason game. But Sammy Watkins coming back really helps out the offense. Hopefully we'll get to see him and Lamar in one of these preseason games play together because, you know, through all the reports, it's they've been amazing together. You know, it's that Florida connection for some reason. It's just like, I mean, that's why all the Ravens receivers are seemingly from Florida. It just it just works. I don't really know why. But I mean, I'm not from Florida, so I can't I can't speak to it. But they, they've reportedly had great connection um, in throwing the football. And then Brandon Stevens coming back is very good. But one thing that I want to talk about, so joint practices in general, it's it's very interesting to read the reports. Because, you know, I go to, obviously, normally when I, I read reports, I go to the Ravens reporters, which makes sense because the Ravens are only practicing with Ravens. So they're, they're not going to talk about a lot of lowlights. They're going to talk about the highlights. And so I'm reading things like, oh, yeah, the secondary is playing very well. And like these guys are doing very good things. And then I go to the Panthers and it's like a very similar thing. And so I can actually speak to like the I, the quote unquote negative things that happened at practice. I'll talk about that after the positives um, in terms of player performances. So positives. James Brochet had a very good practice, made the catch of the day, according to the Ravens. Um, I saw some other catches from the Panthers. So. I don't know 100% if it's the best catch of the day. There were some good catches by the Panthers players, but, you know, James Prochet had a pretty good day. Um, you know, the Ravens secondary did well. Sam Darnold um, wasn't amazing in in seven-on-seven seven drills, but then looking at the negatives, looking at the other side of, uh, other side of things, you know, I saw a couple of highlight catches that uh, Panthers players were making. The most notorious one that I could think of was Terrace Marshall Jr., not only because it was a good catch, but also because Raven fans were so such big fans of Terrace Marshall Jr. I talked about him a lot and I did like him. You know, he's got great size. He's got, you know, great ball skills. And he was being guarded by Anthony Averett. And he was able to make just a, a difficult catch against him. Kind of jumped up, turned around, caught it as Anthony Averett was reaching up. And for me, I don't know what the deal is, but Anthony Averett is just a... a a moss magnet like like he's he's in good positions more often than not but it seems like every time he's even in a good position like the guys still make the catch and that's a very difficult thing to watch because it, it looks like oh yeah he's in a great spot and it's just oh he made a difficult catch and i don't like if he can somehow get that next step of being able to get that swat get the hand in there you know maybe turn around and get the pick depending on what style he's trying to do in terms of playing cornerback I don't know, but it's really frustrating to watch because it happened. I mean, it happened three times in the Ravens Saints preseason game where he was in good positions and guys just caught it over him. And now it's happening in practice against the Panthers. It happened last year. Like, I don't know what it is. You know, hopefully he's able to kind of maybe it's just something with technique. I'm not 100 percent sure, but hopefully he's working on that and gets it out. Um, next thing was another guy. I believe it was. She's Smith, the other rookie wide receiver that that did it. Um, I'll look on the Panthers thing right now just so I don't want to get it wrong. Yes, it was She Smith. He made a very nice catch over uh, Geno Stone. So he was mossed in today's practice. And, you know, overall, just kind of things to keep in mind that, you know, obviously Ravens media isn't really going to tell you a lot about is those like, oh, yeah, it's not just like the Ravens just dominated the entire practice. No, the, the Panthers also had successful plays. I, I read about when I was reading, I believe I was on, I don't think I was on BaltimoreRavens.com. Maybe I was when I was reading an article on there. Um, I read a lot of articles about the practice, but they talked about how um, Tyson Williams was looking really good out of the backfield. He was pancaking blockers and doing things like that, where it's like, oh, he's really getting physical and doing all these things. And it makes it seem like, oh, he was dominating. I click on the Panthers page. I see Tyson Williams try to run the ball up the middle and just get leveled, just get leveled by um, a linebacker out there. And it's just like, uh Oh, um, you know that they don't tell you about that. The, the linebackers name is Frankie Luvu. I don't know who that is. Um, I'm sorry, Panthers fans. I don't know who that is, but he, he, he kind of, just completely knocked him over in the backfield. So it's like, you know, it, it's that positive negative thing that you, you look at, like it's not as great as it always seems. So, you know, when the Ravens are playing against the Ravens, they'll try and report all the major things. So if someone blows up someone in the backfield, they'll report on it. But if a Ravens player gets pulled up in the backfield and, in you know, against another team, they're not going to highlight it. I didn't read anything about it from Ravens sites, 
but it did happen. I did read about J.K. Dobbins' fumble. Um, I, I did watch the clip. Uh, it was just Brian Burns. Brian Burns is a, is a very good young edge rusher. If you don't know about him, he is going to be a premier edge rusher in the NFL in the next couple of years. Like he's he's going to be one of those next top tier guys. Um, and he was very good last year, but he just you know came up and hit J.K. Dobbins, knocked the ball out, and J.K. Dobbins was very frustrated, threw his helmet on the ground and things like that. But that that goes to show you that he is very committed to trying to hold on the football. I mean, if you watch the Ravens wired, that's what Greg Roman was telling him ball security, ball security, because if you want to be a great running back, you can't be coughing up the football. You can't be coughing up the football. It's just, you know, in the modern NFL, you know, if people are watching this and they're like, Oh, it's, you know, Walter Payton fumbled 86 times in his career. You know what? That was a very long time ago. Running backs. Now you are not going to see the field if you keep losing the football, but you know, obviously he's working on it. He's working on that. He's working on catching the football. And I, I expect him to be improving and things like that. So it's just good to see that he's very committed to it and working on getting it better. Unfortunately, Panthers defense did make a nice play. Brian Burns, like I said, but you know, overall joint practices, I love joint practices. It's, it's really the, the best time of year to really understand. Like I said, where you get to see the pros and the cons from a much better angle because you get to read what the Panthers are saying about Ravens players. You can see what the Ravens are saying about the Ravens players against, you know, other teams. So looking at, you know, the drills from quarterbacks and everything like that, you're not going against your own secondary. You get to see how they're performing more than just in a preseason game because, you know, a preseason game is, is just one game. And a lot of times starters, you only see them for 15 minutes or even one drive or two drives. So, Overall, I, I love um, these practices. I, I'll probably report on more things that happen tomorrow. But, you know, overall, I think it was a good practice. You know, not too many fights. One player did get injured. However, it's not expected to be very serious. That player being Derek Wolf, um, he kind of limped off. Marlon Humphrey did not practice, but uh, he he wasn't walking like with a limp or anything like that. I read that from Sarah Ellison. I know that um, that was from Twitter. So overall, um, good practice. Uh, very happy Alejandro Villanueva stepped in, but make sure to not just read the Ravens reports. I would, I strongly encourage checking out the Carolina Panthers reports because it does give you valid information and you see highlights that the Ravens wouldn't post about. So thank you everybody for watching. Subscribe for daily Ravens content, comment your thoughts and opinions on the joint practice, anything else you've read or heard, make sure to come to the live stream on Saturday. And of course, let me know if you think it's like, blasphemous for me to wear this t-shirt it probably is it probably is but i will say i'm making another video later today for my other channel the football diary and we talk about the panthers so maybe that excuses it i'm you know maybe i should have you know thrown the lamar jersey on top of this i don't know let me know if you guys are mad about it <laughs> thank you everybody for watching i will see all of you again tomorrow